Anthropic just released amazing updates and in this video I'm going to share with you these new updates and at the end of the video I will also share how exactly you can start implementing and testing these updates out. So this is the blog post that was published by Anthropic I guess a few hours ago. Let's just read it through and then I will show you a few examples and finally when and where you can uh, test the, these updates out. So today we are announcing an upgraded Claude Sonnet 3.5 Sonnet and a new model and a new model Claude 3.5 Haiku. This upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet delivers across the board improvements over its predecessor, so way better um, qualities and I will show you in a moment the actual data and Claude 3.5 Haiku matches the performance of Claude 3 Opus, our prior largest model. So this is also very interesting and let's just dive into the numbers because this is the most interesting thing and bear in mind this is one of the updates, the other update I will share with you in a moment. So this is the data when it comes to the 3.5 Sonnet, the new one and this is the old one. So in terms of reasoning you can see a 6% improvement in terms of undergraduate level knowledge, 3% improvement code, human eval, slight improvement but still significant, math problems, problem solving, another improvement, and high school math competition, another improvement, agentic coding, this is a huge improvement, and agentic uh, tool use as well, as well a pretty significant improvement, 7%, and 10%. I won't go deep into each be uh, benchmark, what does each uh, benchmark mean, but uh, just just like to give you an overview about the numbers, I will start testing soon in my own use cases to see the, the difference, whether or not if it's significant or not, but I believe it is. I've read a few people already that are saying that they feel that the performance is way better. By the way, you can see here the uh, comparison to GPT-40, GPT-40 Mini and Gemini, which are the models by Google. So this is very exciting. I will definitely test it out and it or it's already available for all of users. And the new and more exciting thing is actually something that is called computer use, which basically allows Claude to start computer use. Okay, we're also introducing a groundbreaking new capability in public beta, computer use, and it's available on API. Developers can direct Claude to use computers the way people do by looking at the screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, and typing text. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the first Frontier AI model to, to offer computer use in public beta. At this stage, it is still experimental. At times, it has errors, but they are uh, div um, mentioning that a few companies already started using it. And let me show you example how this looks like. And basically, it as if you're using an agenting tool or to automate browsing in your computer or oper or using an agenting framework in order to automate operating system procedures and these are a few examples two examples that were published by the cloud team let's just let me just show you the gist this will be normal speed if you want you can do like my video in 2x AI to create a fun 90s themed personal homepage so basically they are, the, he is asking cloud to create a, a fun 90s style website to create a fun 90s themed personal like. homepage for itself so as you can see here it creates a plan then it takes a screenshot and this is how most of the operating system agenting frameworks uh, operate they take a screenshot and then they move the cursor to the relevant coordinates on the screen claude opens chrome searches for claude.ai And then types in a prompt asking the other Claude to create a personal homepage for itself.
Claude.ai returns some code. And that gets nicely rendered in an artifact on the right hand side. This is crazy. That looks great, but I want to make a few changes to the website locally on my own computer. Let's ask Claude to download the file and then open it up in VS Code. Claude clicks the save the file button. Check this out. Let me start by clicking the download button. It's, it finds the download button using a screenshot and it hits the left click. Basically like an RPA code. tool. And then finds the file within my downloads folder and opens it up. Let's see, now I see the file dialog window. I click on the downloads folder in the sidebar to navigate there. Amazing. Perfect. Now that the file's up and running, let's ask Claude to start up a server so that we can actually view the file within our browser. Claude opens up the VS Code terminal and tries to start a server. But it hits an error. We don't actually have Python installed on our machine. But that's all right, because Claude realizes this by looking at the terminal output and then tries again with Python 3, which we do have installed on our machine. That works. So now the server's up and running. Now that we have the local server started, we can go manually take a look at the website within the browser. And it looks pretty good, but I noticed that there's actually an error in the terminal output, and we also have this missing file icon at the top here. Let's ask Claude to identify this error and then fix it within the file. Claude visually reads the terminal output and then opens up the find and replace tool in VS Code to find the line that's throwing the actual error. In this case, we just ask Claude to get rid of the error entirely, so it will just delete the whole line. Then Claude will save the file and automatically rerun the website. So now that the error is gone, let's go take a final look at our website and we can see that the file icon has disappeared. This is crazy. This, uh, let me show you another example, another use case. So this is a personal use case. My friend is coming to San Francisco and I want to watch the sunrise with him at the Golden Gate Bridge tomorrow morning. We'll be coming from Pacific Heights. Could you find us a great viewing spot? Check the drive time and sunrise time, then set up a calendar event that gives us enough time to get there. You figure out timing logistics and help drop a calendar invite so I remember when I have to leave. It's opening Chrome, going to Google, searching, Looks like it's found something. Great. So how far away is the location from my place? It's opening maps, searching for the distance between my area and the hiking location. Cool. So now it looks like Claude is searching for the sunrise time tomorrow. and is now dropping it into my calendar. And populating it with some details. And great, it looks like Claude did it. This is a simple example, but we're sharing computer use early. Wow, wow, this is amazing. It actually, I mean, it's very interesting to see what will be the impact on many AI coding assistants and many frameworks that are built to automate, uh, to use browser automation. For example, uh, open interpreters, they have like an operating system a framework and Skyvern, many players like this, this might be, um, not so good news for them. Now, I think obviously when using um, this ability, it's probably going to cost a bit more significant um, because it uses many API calls. That being said, I think it will be worth your time and your money because as you can see, it is working pretty well. Uh, if you want to start testing this out, you can come here. Anthropic quick starts computer use demo. This is just uh, this is still in beta, so be cautious about this. Read all the instructions, and it's pretty straightforward. Use uh, if you have Docker, you shouldn't have any issues. If you have any issues, uh, obviously you can use uh, Cloud Dev or 
Claude or OpenAI in order to assist you and guide you how exactly you should get this in order to get this going. All you have to, all you need is a Docker and a Claude or Anthropic API keys. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm definitely going to start testing it very soon. I'm very excited. Um, this is a huge advancement, advancement in the game. And yeah, it's just uh, in terms of strategy, I feel that the big companies just keep on shipping amazing, amazing updates that kind of wipe out all the small players as that tried to build stuff and um, that is slightly more advanced than what is currently available. But then a new, uh, a huge company such as Anthropic and OpenAI, they just release an update that kind of wipes out all the advancements that the small players have done. Uh, I think we are going to notice something similar in terms of of uh, agentic solutions but let's uh, stick around and see i hope you enjoyed this short video about this major and exciting announcement by anthropic if you have any ideas feedback obviously leave them in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed yet and are interested in more ai related stuff please subscribe and until next time keep on automating